Hey guys, welcome to your singles love reading for Sagittarius. This is going to be for your January 2024. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. So uh, we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love, uh, what your blocks and challenges are in love, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Um, if there's anyone new coming into your life, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Sagittarius people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. If you guys are interested in following me, following me on my new YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to travel, the link for that is also in the description box below. Uh, support me on there too, do all the YouTube stuff. Okay, so Sagittarius, single Sagittarius, what's going on with single Sagittarius in love? What are their blocks and challenges in love for January 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for single Sagittarius, for single Sagittarius, for single Sagittarius, let's see. Five of Cups here in the Page of Cups. I feel like you've been disappointed many times by somebody here. <sighs> I feel like at some point you felt like this person owed you an apology here, but I feel like you moved past that. Yeah, the, whoever this is, this is someone who, someone here who's very emotionally immature that's basically dropped the ball on you many, 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 many times. I mean, it could be an indication that, you know, this person maybe regrets you know, not letting you down. They could be coming in with an apology here, okay? Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with a Five of Swords here and a Three of Swords, okay. Seems like you're still in the thick of it with this person. I do feel like this is a situation where I feel like you feel very hurt by this person and I feel like you felt like you got tricked. I feel like you got tricked here, okay? So, you know, I do feel like there's a situation that you're still trying to move past, okay? And, you know, Perhaps some of you guys have moved past it, okay? Have let this go. And I feel like perhaps, you know, maybe you guys are happy with where you guys are at right now. Happy, single, fulfilled, you know, all blissed out. So I feel like some of you guys could have moved past this. I mean, this could be an indication that, you know, you're putting yourself first here too. You know, perhaps you're, you formed strong, firm boundaries with people or with this individual in particular here. Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Tell me the Five of Cups here. Why is the Five of Cups here? Seven of Wands. Seems like they're drawing the line with somebody here. Yeah, there's someone that could be approaching you with an apology here and I feel like you're blocking this person out. Yeah, you're blocking this person out. You formed some firm boundaries with this person here. This is someone that you don't really want anything to do with this person here. Like I said, this page of cups here really dropped the ball on you here a couple of times and I feel like you have moved on. I feel like you're happier than you were before. I mean, this could be an indication also that this person that's coming into, uh, that's coming back into your life, they're realizing that, you know, you are their happiness here. Whoever this is, I do feel like this is an individual that's really stepping up to the plate here. I do feel like this person might have changed here too, or that you are manifesting your emperor here, okay? But, you know, I do feel like someone here might have grown, might have changed, might have evolved here. I mean, they could be facing their own karma here too. If this person cheated on you, they could have been cheated on. Uh, the Fool card here. And the Nine of Cups. Seems like you guys are doing really well here. You know, I can feel like you guys are enjoying your freedom. If this person's approaching you here with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, I feel like you're not interested in having any sort of communication with this person or working things out with this individual here. So I do feel like this is a bit of a block. Um, if you fully moved on from this, I feel like more so maybe this is a block for the other person, okay? So um, what else do we have here for single Sagittarius? What else does single Sagittarius need to know, look out for, work on? Is there anyone new coming in for single Sagittarius in love? 
have Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for January 2024 for single Sagittarius. So we have the Hermit here, Virgo Energy, and the Ten of Pentacles. I really feel like you guys are just focusing on your prosperity at this time here. Yeah, I just feel like you guys are doing some soul searching. I just feel like you guys are just kind of like really happy, very blissed out where you guys are at right now. Um, I just feel like, you know, when it comes to love, I feel like you guys are not really ready to take that on yet. You guys are just enjoying your freedom here. Two of Wands and the Eight of Wands here. So two plus eight is ten. I, I do feel like there's someone from the past that's really stuck on you that's having a hard time moving on from you here. Yeah, Ten of Wands here and the Two of... Yeah, so when it comes to a relationship here, you're not ready for it. Perhaps more recently, maybe it took you some time to completely get over this person, but maybe now you're finally over this person here, okay? This is someone that you had a strong soulmate connection here with. Yeah, you know, I feel like you're making peace with it and I feel like you're just moving on and I feel like you're just making some big changes here for yourself here, Sagittarius. We have Judgment, Sagittarius Energy, the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Swords here. I mean, this could also be an indication that, you know, this is an individual, individual that's coming back around for a reconciliation, but you're completely ignoring this person here, okay? Um, you know, I just feel like you just don't care to communicate with this person. Um, so I feel like you're in a really good place with yourself. If you're able to, you know, kind of master, you know, letting this individual go and moving on from this individual and not expecting anything from this person, especially an apology here, okay? Eight of Wands. The Queen of Wands, okay. Two of Wands. And the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is you moving towards your new beginning here. And like I said, just really focusing on your pentacles here, really focusing on your prosperity here and your wealth. You know, it, it could be that you guys have decided that, you know what, I'm just going to focus on me. I'm going to focus on perhaps starting a new business here, maybe focus on moving into a new home, buy a new car. But you know, I just feel like you're just focusing on the future here, focusing on the new and just sort of like leaving the past behind or just like taking out the trash here, okay? So I just, I just feel like, yeah, I just feel like you just don't want any rubbish in the past to sort of like hold you back. All right, tell me about the Ten of Pentacles here. In terms of new love here, no new love. Um, I, and I feel like you guys are okay with that because I just feel like you guys are manifesting wealth, prosperity, and abundance in your life right now, okay? We have the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. Yeah, this person's definitely trying to manifest this back. Six of Cups here. I mean, we have someone from the past here that's definitely missing you a lot. But like I said, I feel like you just don't really care to speak with this person or connect with this person again. Because I feel like with the Six of Pentacles here, I feel like this should be in the reverse. You have nothing to give. Six of Pentacles, I feel like someone from the past is definitely begging for another chance here. Um, the thing is, I feel like this person is just very emotionally immature. They're just not on your level here. Um, you know, it could have, you know, the emperor could be an indication that they went from the page to an emperor and, you know, they could have gone through some changes here, but, you know, so much time has passed that, you know, uh, your feelings towards this person has changed, okay? So, um, Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.